Well, good afternoon, YouTubers. Uh, I thought I'd do a quick video today. Picked up uh, this Schwinn shuttle bike trailer. And my son talked the manager out of marking it on liquidation. Regular 149.99. Got it marked down to $69. Picked it up. This is what it looks like. It says it'll carry up to 80 pounds. And uh, ages one plus 80 pound max weight. It says 40 pounds per child. Of course, I'm not gonna carry children in it. I'm carrying my canine buddies. Skip, say hello. So anyway, Today's video is really a discussion about installation of this on a, uh, this electric bike. Inguine, 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 uh, EP2 Pro. And in order to install this, what I found out was that this is non-standard, this axle nut here. Uh, and so to make this work, if you buy one, probably is the case on most electric bikes. I'd say they make a larger axle and all since they put these hub motors and all on. But you're going to have to do a little modification, which is relatively straightforward. I used a drill bit and basically drilled a larger hole for connecting it here onto my axle. I just took that on a vise and drilled a larger hole and then uh, it, it, for the fitting. Then since this bike, this back bracket attaches here, I had to notch out a section of this. You can see with a grinder, I just notched a little section of it and then bolted it on. And then of course these have all kinds of connecting safety chains. Here's a safety strap, I mean, here on this bike. And then there's the connecting point and otherwise it's straightforward installation. Now, these tires are just, I don't think that you, I don't see a point to air these up. They'll just, right. Although they feel like they're filled with air, I don't see a point which you put air in them. Uh, but anyway, I've tested it out. It works pretty good. Now, I just run this EP2 Pro here in pedal assist mode, usually about two. They tell you don't go over 10 miles per hour pulling one of these. I had no problem with it. Uh, of course, it comes with this flag here on the back. And I've taken it out now twice with Skippy. And he's a butterball, so he's probably pushing more than 10 pounds, but no problems whatsoever. But you can see it's made with strapping to put your kids in and just pull them on the back of your bike. I don't strap the dogs in, I just set them in the bottom. Anyway, so hopefully this is helpful. If you're looking for one, you might run to Walmart. They may uh, have some more of these still available or something similar, I'm sure, but the regular price, 150 for 69, I didn't think it was a bad deal. All right, top of the day to you.